This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailing to Reaction. About a week or so ago, a trailer dropped for the CW's upcoming Batgirl series, and I find this somewhat problematic. For a start, I'm not fond of the way the CW, where most of the DC superheroes air on television, I should say, no, I, most of them, because there's also... DC Universe, which is a streaming service, is airing some as well. But with the way the CW treats these characters, I don't tend to like them. They're not terrible shows by any stretch. They're just not terribly engaging as well. So I'm not a fan. Don't hate them. Don't like them. Don't particularly care, to be totally honest. So with Batgirl coming, with Batwoman, I should say, coming... I still don't really care, though something bothers me about this. In most instances I've read about this upcoming series, it's promoted like the first lesbian superhero, and that bugs me, because I don't particularly care whether she's a lesbian or not. It literally does not figure into my mental calculus. I don't give a crap, frankly. If she's a superhero who happens to be a lesbian, well and good. Good for her. Be who you are. Doesn't bother me. It says it's being promoted in this way. Kind of bothers me. By extension, it's like if Black Panther... And keep in mind, I should mention that... And keep in mind, I should... <laughs> beer bottles. And keep in mind, I should mention that's like promoting Black Panther as... The first black superhero! Well, he's not. But also, it's the idea that there's more to these characters than a skin color or a sexual preference. I don't, for a moment, claim that it's not significant, because it is, particularly in the case of Black Panther. But nonetheless, there's more to him. There's more to Batwoman, I assume, than her sexual preference. And this type of promotion bothers me. The thing is, though... I can't say that it's the CW doing it, only that that's what I hear, as in blogs and online and that type of stuff. And I just get really irritated with it, because for a start, it gives fodder to people who just love to attack these type of things, sight unseen. And it just shortchanges really interesting shows sometimes, or movies, and I don't like it. Let's just get a superhero movie, or a superhero series, whatever. And the sexual proclivities of the character is virtually irrelevant. Do what you do, who cares? But don't promote it in that fashion. And I have to repeat, I don't know if the CW or Warner Brothers are doing that. That's just what I see. In any case, let's take a look at the trailer for Batwoman. What did Edna and Moe say about capes? No capes! <laughs> that... <laughs> That's a teaser. They gave you absolutely nothing. But she has a cape. And I mentioned Edna Mode earlier. And that's important. She had a thing about capes, because capes tended to kill superheroes. And that's really valid. She has this huge cape. I just want to see someone grab that cape and start body slamming her. Why? Because it's dopey. And also, it's hypocritical of me. Because I've never considered the issue of a cape as far as Batman goes. But you put it on a woman, I'm bitching and moaning. That's not fair. It's still, <laughs> it's still a hazard. Especially with billows like it did in a teaser. In any case, as I said, I'm not a fan of these DCEU series, and, and I may watch it just to see what it's like, because <laughs> I'm curious. Other than that, I don't particularly care. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer to Reaction. Peace.